Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on advanced photon programming. Now, this tutorial is more of a demonstration tutorial. Uh, uh, I think you won't understand what I mean here, but here we'll not be looking at any specific concept today, but rather we'll be looking at some conditions that are uh, that are possible inside modules and programs as to what kind of uh, allowances they have and all. And to make this possible, what I'll be doing is that I'll be just passing the videos once in a while, every while to write code immediately and show you guys something. Okay, okay. Today, okay, I'll explain you guys what what I'm what I'm going to do here. Today, what I'm going to do is that we'll be looking at these things. Okay, can afford can afford the function have a subroutine and function defined inside them? Uh, what about a module like that? And can uh, we saw that some functions and subroutines can call each other, okay? But uh, with uh, little conditions and all. But can one can functions have in uh, within them another set of functions? Is that possible? Okay. Similarly, can a subroutine have uh, can a subroutine have functions inside them or other subroutines subroutines inside them? Similarly, can functions have other subroutines and functions inside them? Okay. Is that possible? And can it call uh, another program inside it? Or can can there be a function inside? There can be module inside another function subroutine. That's something we'll look at. And similarly, in a module, we saw that uh, functions and subroutines can be placed inside. But you yeah, but can a program be called inside? And uh, inside a module, can you have another inside module and all? We'll be checking these and uh, to explain all this to whether we work this out or not i'm going to ask and when we, go, we we work this work this out in a in this program over here we'll be checking which can be done which cannot be done okay and so in programs okay so i'll write this uh, in programs okay let's see let's do let's do with this now uh, this module is written out is written outside the program definition over here, but uh, it doesn't matter. Even if you write it within the same file or in a separate file, it doesn't matter. As long as they are compiled properly, it doesn't matter. Okay. Now uh, let's look at the rule of a module. The module is written on the top of the program, whereas the program is only here. And this prog module has one subroutine called as hello, and which prints nothing, but it just prints a simple print simple print hello statement that's it nothing more nothing less okay and if you want to use this module i wrote i wrote use hello one because the module name is hello one and i have values here just to just to fill the code nothing more and i call this hello function here suppose if i were to run the compile build and run this it turns out to be fine okay now this isn't interesting okay this isn't interesting now why don't we call this module why don't we call this module inside the function? Okay, but inside the program. Now, do you think this will work? No, it uh, apparently does not. It just throwing. It just says that it's there are a lot of. Uh, it just says that uh, cannot change attributes. Use associated symbols. Hello one and all. So let's do one thing. Let's comment this out. And since if you want, uh, we saw that you have to use contains, you have to use contains and stuff, contains to include a subroutine or a function. So by our intuition, let's see whether this keywords contains is needed. But when a keyword like contains is used, then the external definition, the external definition for the module or subroutine may not be needed. Functions like that we use for function may not be needed. So I think this doesn't, th we don't need this, okay, now let's run this, it's still showing an error, it's just showing an error that uh, unexpected implicit and something, okay, okay, so let me remove this, run this again, okay, it says that unexpected contains in the section, okay, remove this again, if I were to compile this again, okay, now it shows that unexpected module inside, so, there are issues, so you cannot put modules inside. Okay, now this is still turning out to be an error. Okay, let me do something about this. Let me use this. Let's see if this turns out to be fine. Now, 
it just shows that uh, it just shows that uh, it's still showing a lot of errors it says it's still sho showing that this is an error and this is not available and all okay now let's do one thing let's cut this module I'm extreme I'm completely experimenting here to get demonstrate you guys what can be done and get what cannot be done inside programs and all program programs and all okay now um, may I possibly now this module is on top of the program so without the keyword contains so let me run this I mean let me compile this still an error still errors are popping up okay maybe I should use the word keyword contains contains should this I think they should avoid the error but it does not okay uh, let me okay it does not okay now on the other hand on the other hand let me remove this use underscore hello one and run this it's still showing an error okay on the other hand uh, uh, if this being the case then we do notice something over here and here subroutines and uh, in a programs and subroutines and functions can be can be inside them uh, using keyword contains using keyword contains fair enough module now we notice that not at all not at all not at all so you cannot define a module with inside a program in I mean inside the definition of a program but outside let's see but outside okay let me just cut this out let me just cut this out and if I were to write, write this at the bottom if I were to compare this it is showing me that uh, the this is showing me some issues over here okay saying something like subroutine is not available and something of that sort the module is here but the subroutine is not available something of that sort okay maybe this implicit none and contains are not there okay so if I were to still run this it's it sh I mean that errors are gone but it's showing an error that use hello one the this module there's a fat error because this module is not available okay now let me write this on top of the function let me write on top of this function sorry on top of the program hopefully this should work okay I compare this it works properly I run this I mean, if I build this fine I run this yeah it works fine so what the, what does this mean Mo uh, uh, so let's answer this question here can a module be placed inside the script I inside the uh, program not at all out outside the program outside the program yes okay on top of the program yes uh, on 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 below the program okay below the program no no okay uh, in a new file a new file yes but this file has to be uh, compiled first this file has to be compiled first so inside a program uh, you can use subroutines and functions inside the function or outside or in a sub out outside or in a separate file no problem okay now as far as okay now this is something uh, we have to keep in mind this is something you have to keep in mind okay now I will pause the video and uh, 
I'll exp uh, I'll pause the video and I'll be back with uh, with the uh, I mean uh, function definition and the subroutine stuff subroutine definition separately. Okay, now uh, I'll be passing the video here. Okay, guys, coming back. What I did is that uh, here we just looked at the program. Now what I did, I just wrote a new file called as demo one dot f ninety five, and this in this in I mean this file. What I have is that I just have a big integer function right from the top to the bottom over here, and this uh, function has an intent value in out value namely x. Okay, even if it's in that doesn't matter over here since it's in out. I'm getting the value x. I can modify it inside the function, inside the function, and then uh, I'm printing it, and then I'm setting that f1 equals x, f1 equals x, nothing more. And now this value gets uh, returned whenever the function gets called. Now the most important thing is that, okay, can a function contain another function inside it, another subroutine inside it? Okay, that's something you have to keep in mind. Now is that po now is that possible? Is that possible? Now let's see it for let's see it for ourselves. Now we have a real function inside here and a subroutine inside here. If I were to compile this. It doesn't throw me an error. Even if I build this, it'll throw an error because there's no main function to compile. Um, I mean, there is no main function, uh, main program, and something to work with. So, uh, but it when I compile this, it works fine. So, uh, so what you can infer from here is simple. Uh, functions and subroutines can be uh, functions and subroutines inside them. Yes, yes, it is possible. But not a program. No. So let's see. A program. Okay, now let's check this out. Can a program be inside? Contains. Okay, I already have a contains on the top. Program. New val. Program. Okay, nothing much. Implicit none. Print. Star comma. Hello, a very minimal program. Okay, but to run this, it will throw an error. Okay, because inside the inside a function, you cannot have a program. You know, this might be root. Uh, so this is not at all. This is not at all. You cannot have a program inside a function or a subroutine. Okay. Okay. Now. Uh, in this pro in this program, we saw that you have a module ready. So if I were to compile this, it's fine. Now, can I use a module here inside? Okay, can I use that? Is is that possible over here? Let's see. Now I'll just comment this out because you cannot have a program inside a function. So, but can I use a module inside? Yes, it does. But how? You have to use the use command uh, uh, to have the Fortran uh, to have the module functions and definitions brought in. So a program not at all. Uh, uh, other module functions subroutines. Yes. Yes. Use the use module uh, statement okay simple fine and one more thing Sh can i have a, a module inside let's see module let me uh, let me create one module uh, new val implicit none uh, contains okay uh, Subroutine H1, which contains, which has implicit none, and uh, print hello. Let me comment this out at the end. Uh, sorry, what am I typing? Subroutine H1. Okay. And with that, 
I'm ending the module here. Ending the module here. If I were to run this, it's an error because a subroutine, so because a function cannot have a module inside it. Okay, that's something important. A function cannot have a, mo a module inside it. Okay, so let me write this down. Uh, a module. Uh, uh, and uh, sorry, a program and a module, not at all. So we said we found that in a inside a function you cannot have, you cannot define, you cannot def you you cannot uh, put uh, you can you can I mean inside a function you cannot put a uh, inside a function or subroutine you cannot have a, a program or a module inside. But you can use mo other module function using the use module statement command. Okay, and finally, one more stuff. The mo inside a module, can you have functions and subroutines inside them? Yes, of course. Yes, absolutely, because that is how well, that is how a module is designed. Okay. Now, here's one more thing. Can uh, since here's one more thing. Can I use modules? Can I use the other functions and subroutines inside uh, what this module? Uh, let's see. Uh, a program. Let me take. A program inside a inside a module. Can I? I think it's not possible. Not possible. Okay. Other modules. Other modules. Functions and proceed. Uh, functions and sub functions and subroutines. Yes. Other module functions subroutines. Yes, it is possible. How? Uh, uh, use the. No, let me copy this. I'm feeling a little. I'm using. I'm being a little resourceful here. You use the use module statement. Simple as that. Okay. Ca uh, another. Another module inside a module inside a module let's check it out okay for this I'll be passing the video I'll just write a short module to see whether this works or not no I don't want to pass let's do this okay let me make this a module itself module sample okay implicit none okay contains okay and here I write okay sample okay if I were to run this do I get have a have an error because you cannot write a module inside this so let me just you know comment this out okay sorry uh, comment this out okay so what we saw is that inside uh, inside a function you can define a function and a subroutine so I think this uh, also goes well for a subroutine inside a subroutine you can define other uh, functions and subroutines but it is but you cannot define a program inside a function so I, I believe that the same goes with for subroutine you cannot define another program inside a subroutine okay okay now because of this this module that will not work now if I have to compile this uh, in a mo inside a module you can have functions no problem you can have functions and subroutines, no problem. That's that's why the modules was defined. Now, can I have? Uh, sorry, can I have uh, uh, a mo another module inside it? Okay, is it possible? Now, if I were to uh, uncomment the lines, compile this. No, you cannot. So it says that inside a module you cannot have another module so he'll say another module inside a module sorry it's no you cannot so that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial uh, if you guys notice uh, <coughs> sorry sorry my bad anyway so this is something uh, you have to keep in mind because uh, this uh, I mean 
in many of the tutorials and stuff you might be wondering whether you can put this in put this not or not you have, may have to experiment this but for uh, newbies and uh, other people who uh, other people for newbies this will be really good but for uh, people who are but uh, for people who wanted to you know write a very very complicated project and stuff like who wants to you know copy files from copy contents from one module to other use functions from one module inside other module and something of that sort uh, who want to build functions inside other functions the modules inside other modules like sub subroutines and other subroutines and uh, uh, something of that sort and if you want to use those kind of stuff okay then then this is a quick in introduction and review for all of you guys uh, so this by this by example you guys understood the what what uh, what can be done and what cannot be done uh what can be done and what cannot be done uh sorry let me comment this what can be done and what cannot be done uh by uh, merging one thing into the other and all okay now if i were to compare this it works fine so so this is in summary of what we did today or in the in this tutorial the subroutines and functions can be built inside the program can be written inside the program using the keyword contains outside the program and outside this outside the program yes it is yes it is can be done but in a separate file yes as modules are a separate files but uh, those ha those files have to be compiled to get the object files ready to blink them up okay but can a module be placed inside a program not at all we we checked it very clearly that it cannot do it okay and outside the program yes a module can be placed but on top of a program yes but below a program not at all but in in a new separate file yes but what happens is that when that is done then uh, the entire module has to be compiled first before compiling the program okay and in the, uh, regarding functions regarding functions <laughs> and subroutines sub uh, functions and subroutines can have can uh, have internal functions and subroutines so it does work but a program and a, a, a functions and subroutines cannot have a program and a module inside them but other module functions and other sub module subroutines can be used inside them using uh, used inside them using the use module statement use module statement and so and finally inside a module by default you can put you can define uh, functions and subroutines using keyword contains yes using contains using contains but in uh, but inside a module you cannot have a you cannot have a program inside a module it's not all possible but can you have uh, uh can you have can we have the uh, functions and subroutines of other modules modules put inside yes it is possible you have to use the use module statement that we uh, saw the previously and finally can you have a module inside a module something like a inner module inner module uh, something no not at all so this might this is something you have to keep in mind when we go for the when people wanted to go for you know advanced procedures advanced procedures are where you know, people want to work with uh, one program inside other uh, one subroutine inside other or something of that sort uh, that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial thank you guys for watching and uh, i'll see you guys next tutorial bye